through her that said there's a young man he lives at 422 Seacrest Drive he's suffering over not being able to get his work going and so drive up and down that street until you see him he's five foot eight he's beautiful he's got the brightest eyes you've ever seen and when you see him don't scare him but tell him you have all the answers to all of his questions that isn't how it works it works naturally the laws of the universe are working naturally and so it was a much better process for Esther to just learn her music system and fall in love with rap that day and then meet a rapper the very next day because she needed to move her furniture around how brilliant is that and that's the way the universe is working for you all the time because what's in your vortex and what's in everybody else's vortex is known by infinite intelligence we all know where you all are and we all know how you all can be of benefit to each other so step step one is you ask step two is source answers sometimes source uses someone like Esther to answer the question of someone like this you see how it works you are often the answer part of the equation you are often the question part of the equation you are often the receiver of the answer part of the equation we are all playing all of those different roles with one another you see mm -hmm. helpful yes thank you so much yes thank you wait sit back down what is it that you need an answer for well I do have another part of the question what you were talking about what's your question the first part what's your question what is it that you're trying to receive answers for what's your question well with the trust but I also what, 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 what? just get right to it you had something that you were talking about what is it we're making decisions like what a decision about what um, about everything in my life I well, just want to give be us something clarity give us something see this is what we're getting at I want answers about everything in my life and so <laughs> infinite intelligence is poised ready to give you an answer but define it a little bit see how important the question is what's the question if you like the idea of meditating and getting the answers there's an answer about to come to you right now what's the question um, okay so the question is about my job and my passion what's the question how do I express my passion that's a really vague question can you narrow it down a little am I passionate yes could I show it more yes how could I show my passion more by focusing more upon what it is by getting in the receptive mode more by being happier more of the time by trusting that it will radiate from you when you're tuned in tapped in turned on what's the next question I guess I don't have a specific question uh, because I, I do have a lot of questions for myself but I let's hear <sighs> how do I find the job that I love what do you like to do channel energy healing I believe I have a gift of channeling I have which is interfering with my uh, not trusting myself so I would like to share my gift are you hearing what we're getting at you can ask lots of questions all at once but you can't hear the answer to lots of questions all at once so by you defining what is it I most want to know universe this is what I most want to know and then just speak it and then just let it go and then meditate and receive the next step and the next step because here we are what we were defining to you just now we really know all of the answers to all of these questions just like we knew about this man that Esther would help here's the best way of saying it to you before the navigational systems were in the vehicles Jerry was Esther's navigator and he had a map and Esther was the driver and she would do what he would tell her to do so she would say okay tell me everything that's going to happen and he would tell her the whole route well we're going to follow this road around and we're going to get on interstate 5 and we're going to head north on interstate 5 and then we're going to go about 23 miles and we're going to take exit number 58 and then Esther would say wait 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 and he'd say there's no point in me telling you everything you're not going to remember it all how about if I just tell you that we're going to get on the freeway and head north well it wasn't quite as satisfying to Esther as she wanted it to be but it really was a better way of going about it because she was not going to hold all of those different turns in her mind you see what we're getting at and you're not going to hold them all in your mind either 
And so your inner being is giving you turn by turn guidance based upon what you're doing vibrationally in the moment and what's happening in your vicinity relative to the things that you want. So as we play with you here, there is a vagueness in your questions that needs to be sharpened. You need to define what it is that you're wanting. And that's how you get clearer and clearer and clearer about what you're wanting. We know for sure that Esther sat to meditate and what her intention was, was just to focus on her breathing. And when her mind wandered, to just let it go and focus back on her breathing. Esther wasn't planning on connecting with infinite intelligence. She certainly wasn't planning on spending her life getting on airplanes and flying around to see people like you to do this. In fact, if we had said to Esther in that first sitting, we are very glad that you finally found us because there's important work for you to do. And you will be spending the rest of your life experience flying around on airplanes and standing on stages and letting people talk to someone who is not really you. <laughs> we are certain that Esther would have made certain that that didn't happen. <laughs> she would have stopped meditating. She would have stopped listening. In other words, because that was more information than she was ready to hear. She said to Jerry, don't you ever tell anyone that this is happening to me. She said to him, promise me that you'll just talk to Abraham, but that you won't mention it to anyone else because I don't want people to think that I'm weird. And Jerry said, I promise. Well, he did not keep his word because <laughs> he was with someone that he knew would appreciate it. And he opened his mouth and then this, and then this, and then this, but you see what we're getting at? The evolution of what comes to you is about the evolution of your own desires and the evolution of your own desires is about the life that you're living. And so these answers are fluid and they're coming in response to who you are. And there's not one path that will please you always. So it really is a turn by turn thing. What's the best thing for me to do today? And so when we say to you, the answer to your question is meditate so that you can hear the stream of answers and you say, well, I'm already doing that. Then we say, well, then we want you to listen in a different way. Don't listen for all the answers to come at once. You can't comprehend that. Don't ask for all the answers for all of your life. Just ask for the best answer for today. And when you're really doing that well, the impulse is so strong that you must play with your music system. And somehow you'll know by the power of that feeling within you that this is your life's work here and now. Now your mind might say, what is my life's work to play with my music system? Oh, there must be more for me. Isn't there something about world peace in there somewhere or, or something more meaningful? This, this is it right now. This finding my desires first, I guess will help me. Well, the thing that we want you to hear is you have defined your desires and they have redefined themselves and redefined themselves and redefined themselves. So your work is to get into that place where you can receive an answer. We think that we're giving you the best answer that you ever could receive all of you right here and now that the answer to the path of least resistance is not what you think it's going to be, but it is always what you're ready to hear and what you're ready to hear is enough. It's got to be enough because it's what you're ready to hear. So the answer to you is utilize meditation in a more effective way. Utilize meditation to get into the receptive mode, not as the means where all the information will flow right there in that moment, just as a means to lead you to the next step and follow it blissfully without asking it to give you more than it will give you more than you're ready to hear. Okay, because I feel that I have general desires as anybody else. Everybody wants to be happy, eat, live an easy life, do what they love, and I guess live an exciting and fun life. Yes. So my desires are broad in a way, but I don't know exactly what it is that I want to do that will make my life easy, exciting, and passionate and fun. <laughs> so, because right now I feel like my life is So very what you're saying is, plain. I don't feel that my question is specific enough that I want to live happily ever after. Now, so listen to the analogy that we gave you earlier. Esther's deep desire is to be in a position where she can be of value to someone. And I can relate. I, I want so, to be of value so. too. And that's a pretty vague and general intention, isn't it? So she meditated and the answer to that question was, wouldn't you like to figure this music system out? That was the answer to that question. And the answer was so strong that she didn't question it. She didn't say, oh, this is a waste of this morning. It was like an interest that was so strong because she was 
in a state of such alignment with us that our interest dominated everything in her experience in that moment. And she had to understand that system. More important, she had to find rap. More important, she had to stay with it long enough that it got into her vibration. And then that was the end of that answer. And then she had to move her furniture around because that's the job that that kid had. Most of the furniture, they moved it over there and over there and over there and over there. She has two houses down there, up there, over there. And before the day was over, they moved most of it back where it was. Because <laughs> the furniture did not need to be in a different place. It just needed to be moved around by a mover arounder. You see. So you hear things like, the Lord works in mysterious ways. It's not all that mysterious. It's all really practical stuff that source is leading you to, you see. But you're more sure about what you don't know than you are willing to let what you do know lead you. You keep saying, I don't know. What you're saying is just what Esther said. My pen is lost. My pen's lost. I can't find my pen. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You see the parallel with it? Where if, if instead you say, I know that I'm an uplifter and I know that I'm a value and I know that I'm good with this energy stuff and I know I want to be happy and I know I want to lead other people to feeling better and better and better. And I can feel that this is who I am and what I was born to do. And I know that there's a path for me and I know that I'll find it and I know that it'll be a changing path. And I know that I'm intuitive enough that I'll know when I'm on the right track. And I know when it feels good that I want to follow that track. And I don't need to know the specifics of everything that's going to happen any more than Esther needs to know all the turns that she's going to make along the way. That's too much information. Information and most of it boring. All I need to know is what's next, what's next, what's next, what's next, what's next. And so our answer is so simple. We so want you to hear it. Just chill out, get into that receptive mode, and trust that you've done the work. You're the one that put it all in the vortex through the life that you've lived. And Source knows what's there and knows how to get you there and is leading you constantly and adores you so much and is wanting to fulfill your answers to all your questions. It's all right there for you. You just got to chill out and not use your ego quite so much. Not think that it's so much about ego. Instead, know it's about this personality deciphering the larger part of who I really am. This is you coming together with you. And it's a little bit tricky because we're saying to you, here you are, we address you as you, but there's more of you than you. And we want to bring you together. And you say, well, I want to get together, but I don't want my inner being bossing me around. That was what Esther worried about. I don't want Abraham telling me what to do. I don't want Abraham telling me what to do until she finally figured out that we only guide her toward the answers that she's asked questions about. Source is not telling you what to do. Source is just telling you what you want to know. Because Source knows what you want to know, you see, better than you do. But then I feel like if I follow the passion and do things that I like, it, I won't, it will not bring me the financial security and stability. Well, there you go. There you go. Your pen's still lost. You're like so many. You're really arguing for those limitations. What you basically just said is, okay, Abraham, I accept that I put stuff in the vortex. I accept that my inner being's in there. But somehow my inner being isn't taking into consideration my request for abundance. My inner being's only going to show me how to play my music system. Everything is taken into consideration. Everything you've ever asked for is part of the mix. So why would you, through that statement and that belief, block yourself from that that's in your vortex? Mm -hmm. You see what we're getting at? And the answer to that question is because... The answer isn't full enough. And we say, if the answer is not full enough, it's because you're not receiving it full enough. And the reason you're not receiving it full enough is because you've already made your mind up about that. You already have a belief that it won't turn out the way you want it to. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Really good conversation. Thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah. This is helpful to you, isn't it? And it's not quite how you thought it was, is it? It's easier than you thought it was, isn't it? Yes? You'll feel more that way once you've meditated, got a strong impulse, followed it through, and then seen where it led. Once you see where some of these impulses lead, then you'll just make sure that you get into that.